Hi, Nick here with Inflow Communications. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Shortel Communicator client and all the features available within it. Uh, if we take a look here, I've got the Communicator client loaded up on my computer. Uh, you have a lot of different things you can do from it, so we're going to go over some of those here. Uh, right now, I've got my Contacts tab loaded, and from here, I can see uh, the contacts that I've chosen. I can see if they're on the phone if they're in an out of office or in a meeting mode. Uh, I can also use this as a speed dial if I wanted to call someone here. All I'd have to do is double click on their name and it'll call them. I'll go ahead and hang up on that call there. Now, uh, to get people into this uh, contacts list, all I have to do is click on add up here and search for a person in the directory and then add them in. And now I have a new person in my contacts list. Uh, I can also right click on their name and I have all sorts of other options that pop up. I can dial directly to their voicemail box if I'd like to just leave them a voicemail message. Uh, I also have the alert one available so if uh, James is on the phone here, I can click on alert when available and when he gets off the phone I'll get a little pop-up in the corner of my screen. Um, I can also send him a message um, and I can instant message since I have the uh, Shortel conferencing bridge. I also have instant messaging available. Uh, also down below you'll see a couple of different tabs here, history, directory, and voicemail. I'm going to go to voicemail next. I get a visual voicemail box here. I can see my voicemails that I have. Uh, and then down in the bottom left, I can choose how they play back. I can click on telephone or through my PC speakers. And I can see that I right now only have one voicemail message, which is pretty rare. So I can right click on that voicemail message. Uh, I can see some more info about it. I can reply to that voicemail message. I can forward it on to uh, another person within the company if I'd like them to get the message instead. Um, I can also export as a WAV file. It's a voicemail that I'd like to have backed up somewhere else. Uh, I can also just go over here and click on play and it'll play the message for me. Uh, if I delete this voicemail, it'll move down here to the deleted items box and it'll stay there until around midnight when the system does clean up and gets rid of those messages. So I still have a chance to recover it if I need to. I can also within Communicator set my call handling mode. Uh, up here I have right now in standard mode. I can just one click into any of my other call handling modes or I can click down here to configure some of them. So by default it goes into standard. Uh, what I'm going to do is change my extended absence. I'm going on vacation. I can set it to always. Go to voicemail, which is the default. Um, I could also forward that to another uh, employee if I had somebody else that was going to be taking my calls instead. Uh, and then if I click on the record greeting box, it'll let me record that message for my extended absence voicemail. And I can choose to record it from my phone or through my PC microphone. I also have the option here, when caller presses zero, transfer to, and I can enter in an extension of another user, say an operator or somebody else that worked closely with me that can take a call while I'm away. Uh, I can also leave a call handling note that'll show up in Communicator for other people that can see it. And once I've added that there, if you have yourself saved in your own contacts, you can see if I hover over my name, it'll show that I'm in standard mode right now, so I'm going to change myself to extended absence. And I have a call handling note that says, hi, I'm on vacation. I'm going to set myself back in the standard mode here. 
The application button in the top left uh, is oftentimes where we'll send you to get more information for us. Uh, main area here is the options. I can set up external phones to call out to if I were to put my cell phone number in there. Uh, I can save that as my mobile and now if I'm going to be out of the office for a little bit but still want to take my calls I now have the option to go to mobile. Now my desk phone won't ring and my calls will go directly to my cell phone. And we'll go back into the options here. We have all of our call handling and we have our voicemail options. You can choose whether or not your messages get played by default on your speakers, on your computer, uh, as well as if you'd like the envelope information, the date and time to be played back as well. Uh, I have my notification settings here. Where I can tell it to email me a WAV file if I'd like when uh, people leave me a voicemail message and the email address that I'd like it to send to. And then I have my Outlook section where I can choose to have the Outlook integration installed where it'll send me a email in my mailbox with a little play button where it doesn't actually send a WAV file, I just click play and it plays back my voicemail. And then I can also choose to sync my Outlook appointments to my call handling mode. Uh, if you do that, any appointments that you have set will automatically put you into in a meeting mode so that your phone won't ring while you're on an appointment. The Shortel Communicator Client is an optional piece of software, but we highly recommend having it installed for users. The interface is very intuitive and we find helps to increase worker productivity.